Occasionally, we see models with geometry issues, for example where entities are very close but not quite coplanar. While this frame looks coplanar, problems occur placing a wind panel. Investigating shows that one column lies on an adjacent but very close grid or construction line, hence it is out of plane. While modeling, we should try to avoid these inconsistencies, as they can cause issues with many operations such as load decomposition and analysis. These inconsistencies rarely occur when modeling directly in Tecla Structural Designer, but are more commonly seen after importing models from other applications such as Autodesk Revit. This poor geometry causes beams and edges of slabs attached to the off-plane column to be skewed on plan, as well as providing poor analytical connectivity. The planarize command can help to correct such issues without extensive remodeling. To start the planarize operation, in any view, right-click on the grid line where the correctly placed objects exist. From the context menu, select planarize. You can also run the planarize command on a frame directly in the project workspace structure pane. When the planarize command is active, the properties window will display its settings. The seam view highlights entities in the plane. Entities in the plane are gray and displayed by default. Their display is controlled by the defined in plane checkbox. Entities that are within a specified tolerance can also be displayed. Different colors are used to identify entities defined in, attached to and near to the target plane, while other entities are not visible. The legend gives the description and number of entities for each color category. You can highlight entities that are out of plane but within the specified tolerance. You can hover over an entity to display more information, including the specific distance of its nodes from the target plane. The column node is 40 mm from the target plane, hence setting the tolerance to 50 mm will allow these nodes to be moved. You can also enable the option attached to plane to display entities attached to the plane. You can move any of the members within the specified tolerance to the target plane. The usual selection methods allow us to select single or multiple members. For example, we can click on individual members or box a window around all the highlighted objects and Tecla Structural Designer moves them to the target plane. We hope you will find the planarize command useful to correct modeling issues you may encounter.